What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Bear Necessity TCG, and today we're going to be opening up a booster box of Shadow vs. Evolved Advent of Genesis. So, if this is the only video that I do on Shadow vs., it's because either I did not find it fun or it did not sell on TCG Player and I couldn't make my money back. So, I did pick up four boxes uh, right here for $30 each. I do believe after looking at some of the comp prices on TCG Player, I can get my money back. But as I go through these, I'm not going to be looking at the prices, mainly because just because it's listed on TCG Player doesn't mean it's currently selling. So I don't want to get my hopes up. And in another video, I will kind of share my results. Or if you never see it again, you know, I just it, it just didn't work. So this is the second print, but from what I have learned from my research it, that doesn't really matter. It just says second print on the box. There may or may not be extra cards in here as far as some special rarities. But overall, the cards in this are going to be the same as the first edition print. So let's get into opening them. One concern I have when it comes to selling these and the price point is, yes, it's $30, but it also comes with 16 packs, which is... Um, you know, it's less than other games. We have a possibility of, oh, that text string is kind of hard to read, but we have eight cards per pack. Again, a lot less than other TCGs like Battle Spirits and things like that. Um, but this set contains 64 bronze, 56 silver, 38 gold, uh, 22 legendaries, 22 super legendaries, seven ultimates, and then uh, 12 leader cards, 17 token cards. It does have a pull tab, which is really nice. Hopefully that is easy to open. But I like looking for uh, TCGs that are less popular just because you get the boxes at a discounted rate and um, people are playing them, so they will sell. When you take the entire United States or the world, someone's gonna wanna be looking for these cards. So. I never played the actual game, so this is a first look at the art and just everything, and what I can say is, damn, this art looks amazing. Now, I'm not big on um, anime or things like that. Yes, I do en enjoy some, but usually I'm not a fan. I, I, don't, I, just, I love this card already. It's just a silver card, but Phantom Howl, look at the quality of art it has. It's definitely pulling from its popularity of the, um, you know, the mobile game and everything like that. They do have a budget, and you can tell they put that budget into these cards. So, the Foiling 2, Rhinoceroach, all right. What? This feels like it's <laughs> like three cards stacked into one, but it's just one really thick token card which I think is kind of cool, Strike Form Golem. So we'll put that off to the side. I just wanna look at the rarities again. We have, let's see, how many bronzes do we get in here? We have four bronzes, two silvers, and a gold. All right, not bad. And then of course your fat token. Oh, the logo looks cool too. A uh, big fan of black and white and a little pop of color, so they do a really good job here. On to pack two. And actually, I like this pull tab better than I like uh, Bandai's pull tabs because it's so easy to pull too hard on that pull tab and go right down and have that little crease in that corner uh, for your rare cards. Really annoying. Dread Dragon, Sergeant. Ooh, what is this? Uh, I already forgot the terminology. Secret Legend, Super Legend. Let me look at this real quick. It is a Super Legend pulled here. Great foiling. Very. It's a. It's not dark in the sense of you know evil and things like that. It's just dark in the sense of okay, well, you know. The art, a lot of blacks, a lot of purples. Purple's my favorite color. So really loving this Rose Queen. 
We'll just put that off to the side. Swordsman, we have another full gold. And a Holy Falcon for the token card. I wonder if that fat token card throws off the, um, you know, when people weigh these, if people do weigh them, you know, is it kind of a security measure? Why did they decide to go with a fat card over just a regular one? Is it just to be different or does it serve an actual purpose? And then we have a legendary Lord Adamy. Very nice. Dark Offering, Dimensional Shift, Wardrobe Raider, Guard Form Golem. As I'm looking through these cards, you know, at first I was like, I'm just going to get these cards to sell on TCG Player. That's it. They're cheap. I can just toss them up and, you know, get my money back or maybe a little bit more. But the art alone makes me want to play this game. Novice, Trooper, Sorcerer's Cash. Got another Legendary, uh, Gabriel. Lot of Angels in this game. And I think that's just a, uh, you know, a typical game design that they have when it's, um, what am I trying to say? There's a, a lot of Angels, Alice in Wonderland things. They seem to creep their way into a lot of card games for some reason. Sacred Plea, we have a... Dark, oh, the lighting's really hard to read these. I have to read them on my computer. Uh, Dark Dragoon Forte, legendary, evolved version too, and a Coco Spirits. I know evolving is part of the game. I did watch some gameplay videos to kind of see, and you know, it looked complicated, but every TCG looks complicated to me when I first look at it. Uh, so I just have to get a couple games in. I've already, I'm doing it. You know, I'm going to end up playing it at least once with starters just to see if I like the game. Archer, Ninja Trainee. Golems too. Those are in a lot of the games I play too. Britain Dragon Chorus Prayer. Ivory Dragon and a Viking. So far, one thing I, I'm not a fan of, and this is just personal preference, is uh, while the art is amazing, uh, there's a lot of cutesy characters going on in here. Um, it seems like either they're sexy or, or just cute. Uh, where are the rugged men that aren't just, you know, undead kings? Like, I want a, like, I want my crafty warlock to look just, you know, more weathered, you know, older and just like the, like the magic just wore their soul down. But this guy looks like he's, you know, just going to high school class. Holy tiger. And yep, the tokens grew on me. I like the fat tokens. I think other games should start doing that. Cruel Priestess, Death Sentence. I mean, that's close to being kind of rugged, but it's not an actual character. Arthurian Light, Bell Ringer Angel, Bell Ringer Angel. So, and a dragon. I have two of these. I'm trying to see if one feels a little thicker or anything like that. They have the same exact feel, just one is evolved and one is not. Both are gold. Looking for that super ultra rare card. I, I, I want to channel it with all my soul and all my being, but honestly, I don't know what card it is. I really don't know what to call upon the gods and be like putting these packs. Serpent Wrath, Death's Breath, even Death Breath, Death's, Death's Breath is 
more on the cute side. Shapeshifting mage, a goblin, which is not a token. Okay. And a forest bat. I just noticed the actual edges of the cards. So the borders on these are silver. You don't see that, I mean, that darker silver. You don't see too often. Seen gold, seen white, seen black. So it's a nice slight difference. Shrine Knight Maiden. Spectral Wizards. That is a token. Oh, did we use up all our legendary slots in the beginning? I hope not. I really hope that there's going to be some more legendaries in here. Fairy Whisper. We... Uh, and we have a legendary, Merlin. A lot of Arthurian stuff in here, too. There are multiple gold foil cards in one pack. So that is good to know. Or are all golds a foil? I'm going to have to pay a little more attention as I'm opening these. But that pull tab's like butter. Probably why there's less packs because it takes more to, uh, you know, manufacture this quality in there. Luminous Knight. Crafty Warlock. Another legendary. Aurelia Regal Saber. Righteous Devil. A Mimi. Did this one only have one gold in there? I do believe so. Hollow Dogma. Mana Elk. Nature's Guidance. Ninja Master. Path to Purgatory, that is, I guess all the gold ones are a foil. I hope they're all a foil, Seal Clad Knight. And the reason I hope they're all a foil is because I really dislike listing TCG, or listing cards on TCG Player when there is a alternate version of the same card. So if it's... um. Yeah. loss of words but if it's a regular version and a foil version and a signed foil version and you know or maybe it's the same card but uh art a b c and d it's just rough to organize and list and do all that stuff a veteran lancer lightning shooter fire lizard archer that is a bronze card though and <laughs> it has a foil effect uh, it means they're probably in here of everything having kind of an alternate version. Royal Banner. A fairy. That's disappointing. But as long as there's not too many of them. It makes listing just double. Wait, wait hold on. <laughs> I was like, Necromancer. A rabbit Necromancer. Just summons undead rabbits. Interesting. Snake Priestess. And then Harness Glass. Phoenix Roost. A ghost. Looking for a bear token. Don't know if they exist, but it goes along with my channel. The bear necessity TCG, so looking for them bears. Windblast, Ace of Dragon, Execution, Temple Defender, Silver Bolt, Prism, Priestess, and a Knight. Last pack out of the box. And we have Runic Guardian. Teachings of Creation, 
Dragon Wings, Pompous Princess, Alchem Alchemical Lore, Arcane Enlightenment, Elven Princess Mage, Odo Himes, Odo Hems Guard. <laughs> That's it. I was saying like it was building up to legendaries or super legendaries and things like that, but it absolutely wasn't. So that is 16 packs of Advent of Genesis, uh, Shadowverse, and the second print. Not sure if they changed pull rates or anything like that, but what we got so far, I think the hit out of the box has to be the... Uh, Super, 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 super legendary. Yeah, I was trying to correct myself from saying special, but I just kept saying super all over and over and over again. So we have the Rose Queen. And then coming in at legendaries, we have Aurelia Regal Saber and Merlin. Dark Dragoon Forte, Gabriel, and Lord Adamy. Will I get my money back? I don't know. Not until I open the rest of these boxes, I sort everything, alphabetize them, put them on TCG Player, and really kind of track it over, I want to say, a couple months because some cards sell instantly. Others take weeks or months before they start selling. I don't know how bulk's going to be as far as the commons and uncommons. My floor price is $0.25. Cents. So there's tons of other people. You can get cards for a penny, $0.05, cents, $0.10. Cents. Uh, we will see how this goes. I have some high hopes. And who knows? Maybe I end up loving the game, building some decks. I'm going to start ordering some starter decks. I saw a couple on sale for around $10. I might pick up a couple and see if this game's for me. The art appeals to me in... A kind of perfect but not perfect way. Um, for example, I like the detail, all the colors, um, the designs of characters. But at the same time, everything's a little too cute for me. Um, and that kind of throws it off a little. Uh, sometimes I want to be like, oh, I'm playing these powerful, you know, creatures and this, this knight that looks like he's been in a ten, like 10,000 battles and he barely survived. But in here you get a knight that kind of looks like, okay, they're cosplaying. It seems like all these characters are cosplaying, um, you know, th their favorite characters and it kind of puts me off, but we'll see if I can get by it. That, the token cards are really cool being a little bit thicker. But overall, this wasn't a review of the game. Maybe I'll make another one. I'll make another review. Or, or not another. I will make a review about this game once I play it a couple times. That way I can see the gameplay and the mechanics. Maybe that overcomes the aesthetic of the game. The, you know, the parts that I don't like. But overall, I did enjoy opening these. I wish there was, you know, 24 packs in them. But at the $30 price price point i can't really complain so i'm gonna unbox the rest of these start alphabetizing tonight have them listed and i will catch everyone next time